Welcome to this US Master video tutorial showing the calibration and reporting for the Info US Master Training Data 3D. In a previous step, we successfully were running the 3D reconstruction, which are our feature points or type points. And now we want to apply our ground control point measurements together in the adjustment with the type points. Additionally, we will improve the camera in the adjustment. To run the adjustment, we select from the close range 3D tab Calibration. The Calibration Parameter dialog opens. For our purpose, we can use the default settings. In our case, Adjustment and Camera Calibration without High Precision GNSS. The calibration runs a bundle block adjustment and camera calibration using the information from our tie points and from our measured ground control points. The successful result is a refinement of the exterior orientations, so our X, Y and Z positions for each single camera in the air. And a new calibrated camera where we will improve our focal length, the principal point and the distortion model. The distortion model will be issued as coefficients adapting the rotation, systematical and tangential effects. They are stored with K1, K2, K3 values for the rotation and P1, P2 for the tangential effects. The PDF tutorial includes additional parameter settings just for a pure adjustment, so without a camera calibration, if you have already a very well-defined camera, and also for the adjustment with high-precision GNSS, if you have GNSS data which you post-processed and have centimeter accuracy. For our demo data, we will keep the default settings and start the process now. The processing window appears and we can see here the Infos, Errors and Warnings tab, the Infos tab shows our current processes. The Errors and Warnings tab should not have any messages. If there are messages, you will see behind the text in brackets numbers 1, 2, 3 or 4. So how many warnings or errors appear. But they should not appear. If this is the case, then we have to look if we have some made some errors before. The calibration process was successful and we can close the window and take now a look at the report. To open the report we can select from the close range 3D tab report and say view report. US Master automatically creates after the calibration a PDF which is stored in the project directory. It has the same name as your project and saved as PDF. In our video tutorial, we want mainly to look at standard deviations for the different results. First thing, we want to check the new camera, which is stored here in the PDF at camera calibration. The standard deviation for the focal length is determined here below one micrometer. And the principal point is also defined below one micrometer which is sufficient for us for our result. Secondly, we want to look at the block adjustment settings. These are our a priori settings. We defined two micrometer uh, for the standard deviation of our measurements in the image and 2 cm in position and 4 cm in height. And the result is then shown in the block adjustment result where we see here our mean standard deviation of object points which is here around 3 cm in position and around 4 cm in In general we want to reach similarity in a priori and a posteriori so this here 
is what we expected to have. Secondly was, as mentioned, the measurement in the image. So our sigma naught here in pixel is 1.4 microns, oh, sorry, here is 2 micron, which is similar to the a priori value we have set. Looking at the sigma naught value, we want then to have the camera calibration in a similar way. So looking here at the distortion parameters, we see here that our average here is around 1.4 pixels, which is similar to our sigma naught value that we reached here at 1.3.9. Also in the distortions, we don't see any extreme offshots, just here in the last left corner here, but in general they are irregular distributed, looking all different directions, and they are mainly in a range that we accept. Finally, we want to look at our control points, and in the control points we want to look at our root mean square for our five measured control points. And here we have them. And our root mean square here is around one centimeter in position and also one centimeter in height. And here a little bit more is the confidence level. So if we remove 5% of the measurements, then we can see here the real accuracy or standard deviation uh, with the accuracy. Uh, combined and we are here reaching in R which is X and Y the root mean square of X and Y is around 3 centimeters 2.7 centimeters and in height we reach 2.5 centimeters which is better than we expected with the 4 centimeter. We want to stop here at the video tutorial in the standard trainings for US Master we extensively go into the block adjustment and the analysis but that's it for today. So thank you for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day. Goodbye.